information piece today is we just want to equip you on how to share the gospel with one tool, but also emphasize some very important things that when we say share the gospel, this is what we mean when we share. Cool? That's what we're going to go today. Your info piece, how to share the gospel. You may have seen this before, but this is called the bridge illustration. We'll do this real quick. We'll spend a long time at campus during staff training week sharing this. But if we have the, the two, the thing that separates us from God is that if we allow this mountain to be God here, then the opposite of God in terms of personality would be us, mankind, okay? Now, there's a difference between God and between man. This difference, Revelations 4, 8, tells us one thing that's different about that is that um, Revelations, in Revelation it tells us something that says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So immediately we know that God is holy. The, the, se the separation that exists is that what's said of man is that Romans 3.23 says that for all men have fallen short of the glory of God. So if God is glory and holiness, man has fallen from that. So there exists this gap right here. So essentially, first thing that we have to understand about the gospel is who God is and who we are because of sin. The gospel acknowledges that I'm a sinner. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. So if somebody, a man, tried to make a jump from here, or if a man tried to make a jump from here to be in relationship with God, it's impossible. The gap is too big. We need a bridge to get us between those two things. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Christ Jesus, his son. So what God did to bridge the gap is that we've seen it, we believe it, we proclaim in it, but he sent his son to, buy, to die the death that we deserve on the cross, for the wages of sin is dead. Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates for us that while we were dead in our sins, he still saved us, right? So um, he loves us that much. Romans 3, 23, we've sinned, we've fallen short of the glory of God. He is holy. The gospel tells us that we need a way to God, and that only way, hear me friends, the only way is through the death and resurrection of His Son, Jesus. Eternal life is found in nobody else. And so, Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, the holiness of God, Romans 10.9, that if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that He raised from the dead, we will be saved. Y'all, what we have here is we have a gospel plan. And, and we'll go over this even more and we'll learn what it shares, but essentially this, we needed a Savior because of our sin, and that Savior's only through the death and resurrection of Christ and our faith and belief in Him that we can be eternally with God. Y'all, so we would love for you, the education pieces, we're going to teach you how to share the gospel. We're going to teach you what the gospel is. A depraved sinner, someone who is guilty of sin like myself, how can I be with the Holy God? How can our campers be with the Holy God? We'll teach you how to share that and, and give you time to practice that. This week, We'd love for you either to pick a friend, your roommate, or maybe even someone that doesn't believe in Jesus, and you share the gospel with them. That's the, that's the fun piece, okay? The challenge, if you look over here, this is called the Romans Road. I'll put these in the text or the email, but we would love for you guys, if you memorize these passages of, of Scripture, when we come in to the, to the, and we start teaching how to share the gospel, you've got these passages of Scripture, you, you've been equipped, okay? We've talked about a few of them, but this is called the Romans Road. This week, y'all, you're going to memorize, we're challenging y'all to memorize this. The turn-in piece is on your integrity. You just shoot me an email that says, I, I memorized the Romans Road. So y'all have fun this week sharing the gospel with somebody. We hope you feel informed about how we're going to be a gospel-centered ministry and your challenge this week. Memorize the Romans Road. Y'all have fun. Turn the stuff in on Sunday. Peace, y'all.